Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Um, wherever you are, my name is Chris Garcia, aka Crypto Godson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, um, what I like to do is share what I'm seeing in the crypto markets to make the transition easier, um, particularly for newbies, like I said, that are transitioning to the crypto space in order to achieve life-changing gains. If you're into that, please like, subscribe, smash that bell to get all my notifications. Also, I have a Telegram group below. Please join that if you'd like to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. If you have any specific questions, I'm more than willing to help. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. Today, I'll be jumping into how to uh, create a strong node. Um, some people have been seeing me tweet about it. I just uh, created my fifth node um, to create passive income. And um, I would just read these tweets and go into why I'm investing into this project. How do you uh, just want to create a node? You want to jump straight into it. You already bought in. You already sold on the project. And you want to know how to jump into it and create a node. So as you see here, I just created my fifth strong node. Um, this was not even, you know, less than a day ago. So this is relatively recent. And, and um, so I put this tweet here. The window of opportunity is closing here pretty soon. It won't be feasible for the normie to create a strong node at will due to the price increase. Currently, it costs just under $1,000 to create a node to earn passive income. Not for long. And I put a ticket down there. So here pretty soon. Um, so a little, a little background. It, it costs you 10 strong. So you have to own 10 strong tokens in order to create a strong node. So with price currently, let's go here to CoinGecko. So anytime you see any of these tags on Twitter, first thing you want to do is go type it in CoinGecko. Uh, I prefer CoinGecko. You can use CoinMarketCap as well. So I'm going to type strong right here. This is like your database for all your information for all things crypto. So I found it strong is currently 79. So multiply that by 10. It costs approximately $790 to um, create a strong node. Um, you know, if you do the math in your head, obviously once it gets to one, $100, 100 times 10, it'll cost $1,000 to create a strong node. Uh, not to mention the Ethereum gas fees that are required to you know, clear the transaction to actually create that node, which may cost you about another $50. So just keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, first thing you want to do, like I said, not just for Strong, but any other project, uh, keep CoinGecko like bookmarked or uh, pinned in your browser. So that anytime you see anything on Twitter, Telegram, Reddit, you can go ahead and do your own research. That's crucial with any project. You can go to the website, uh, check out the Etherscan, check out how many people are holding this project. Let's go right here. Um, so right now there are currently under 3000 holders. This is a very, very, very early stage project for reference. Those of you who are um, familiar with reserve, we just, uh, cracked the 40,000 holder mark. So I'll just go here to show it to you guys. So we just cracked over 40,000 holders, um, hold RSR. So we are 20 times below that. So strong is way below that. Not to mention the market cap is only 10 million. So uh, the reserve market cap is over 1 billion, I believe. Let's double check that. Yep, over 1 billion. So that's a 100x difference in market cap. And just to give you a perspective, I consider any project below $100 million market cap to be early stage. That's like prime. That's when you want to make your initial investments. And um, usually once it cracks that over $100 million market cap, that's where like that's the pack. So I think of like, you know, if you're running any type of race, there's always a pack and there's outliers in front and outliers behind. So above a billion dollar market cap is what I consider like, you know, blue chips, like they're already kind of green, like they're already um, kind of vetted by the community, obviously shown by the market cap. And then below one hundred million dollar market cap is where the undervalued um, under appreciated and undervalued projects are. And that's where you want to invest. So this is a prime real estate for investments right now. This is where you can make life changing money by investing in projects that are super low market cap and that have really strong fundamentals like strong. So if you want to buy 10 strong to create your node, first thing you would do is, you know, you search it just like I did before and click markets. That's just going to show where this project is offered. So you can go to gate um, to purchase strong. And then you also can buy it on Uniswap. So it's ideal that you buy it on Uniswap because you have to interact with a smart contract in order to 
create your node. Um, you can buy it on gate.io and send it to your MetaMask or your ledger. But so um, I guess if you're a newbie, you probably don't know what MetaMask or a Ledger Nano S is. So the first thing you want to do is buy a Ledger Nano S and also uh, get your MetaMask set up as your um, Chrome browser extension. So go to the Chrome browser extension store and um, download MetaMask, set up your wallet, and that way you're good to go and you can interact with these smart contracts on uh, these websites like Uniswap or on um, the strong website to create your node. You can go ahead and set that up. Um, you can figure out the strong website by just going to you know the CoinGecko strong page, clicking this. So it's the same website, I believe. Yep. So right now there are over twelve thousand nodes at twelve thousand six hundred sixty-eight. I'll just close that one out. Um, you just simply click create node. So after you figure out, you know, what I'm saying what's going on. First thing you want to do is go to Uniswap and. Make sure you have Ethereum in either your MetaMask or your Ledger. I personally use my Ledger. Um, so make sure you set up your MetaMask. There's plenty of help videos on how to do that. And set up your Ledger. There's plenty of help videos to do that on that. You can search YouTube for that. And make sure you have enough to purchase your 10 strong. So right now, like I said, it's about $800. So if you multiply that, it's about 10. It's 790 right? So want to make sure we have at least $100 on top of that to cover fees. So that means we need at least 900 at the very minimum. So we need to buy at least $900 of ETH. Make sure you have it in ETH. And um, that's going to be in your MetaMask or your Ledger. And then you go to Uniswap. I'll put the link below. And then you would purchase uh, whatever the amount is to equal 10 strong. So I'm just going to put a random number here. So 10 strong is about currently about four five let's say four three four two yeah four three so i'll just go ahead and put point four three and i'll purchase it with my metamask connected via i mean my ledger connected via my metamask wallet and that way um i can purchase this strong and then once i get that strong in my wallet it's gonna say okay you have 10 i currently have two strong right here i'm just holding that until i'm able to accumulate the other eight but um, anyway, so once I get that 10 strong, I'm good to go to go ahead and go to the strong website and then uh, I will create my node. So here is where you just click through a few buttons and you're able to create your node. And this node is able to create passive income that allows you to acquire 0.2 strong per day per node. So if you do the math on that, I actually have a tweet on that. Um, dang, where's my tweet? Let's see. So here it is right here. So here's a strong exponential node growth compound calculations. I have these bullets. Um, the, the format is number of nodes slash the days until no, nodes earn enough for an additional node, which is 10 strong. So one node will accumulate 0.2 strong per day. So if you multiply that out, it's going to take 50 days to accumulate 10 strong in rewards. I currently have five. So it's if I'm, you know, five times 0.2, what is that? That's one. So I'm earning one strong per day. So if you multiply that out, it takes me 10 days to to get 10 strong nodes. I mean, 10 strong tokens in rewards. So it's, so if you do that over time, you know that as the more nodes you get, the faster you're able to accumulate more and on and on and on. And that's just exponential growth. That's real passive income right there. So it's just mind blowing when you think about what Strong is doing for people like me that want to contribute and support the Ethereum network because all Strong is about is supporting the blockchain. It's just like it says right here, rewards for nodes makes blockchain stronger, get rewarded. So we're able to get rewarded for supporting the blockchain. Essentially, what StrongBlock is trying to do. So essentially, what StrongBlock is doing is decentralizing the ability to create a node. So previously before StrongBlock, it's, it was really hard. You have to be really technically savvy and have a lot of really expensive hardware to create a node. A node is uh, see all these dots. So this is like a network of computers that support the blockchain all these computers have to agree on every block. So this network, you see right here, all these dots, you can consider each of these a node and all of these nodes maintain the blockchain and blockchains need a lot of support. And the, the stronger it is, the more nodes that are able to, you know, be onboarded onto any blockchain right now, strong block is supporting Ethereum and that's it. Eventually it will support the Bitcoin blockchain and also the Ethereum 2.0 blockchain and possibly others. 
but the stronger the you know it's just like the backbone of any system the stronger the system is the more robust the system is the stronger the blockchain is the more secure people are in it and essentially what they're trying to do is lower the barrier to entry for low for nodes and also the ability to get rewarded for those nodes so they have a a program called node as a service so essentially they're making it really easy for people like you and me to just click a few buttons and support the network and that's really it they just want to be able to like i said lower the barrier to entry and it's really just supporting the infrastructure of the blockchain that's really all this project is based on so strong block has made it possible to for anyone to create a node in seconds or add their own node if you're already technically savvy like that and receive strong token rewards every day more nodes equals more resilience so the strong block protocol is designed to provide an ongoing node universal basic income newbie strong earned in this way is then used to govern the protocol as the protocol matures potential reward deficits can be addressed by the community via protocol governance in many ways so that's the way that as you hold more strong you're able to vote and you have more voting power uh within the uh strong community all right so here's the basic information you need to know if you're going to get a note uh so Node as a service is what, what I'm doing because I'm not running a node myself. So level of, level of effort is a few clicks in a few seconds. The newbie target is 0.2 strong per day. So adjusted based on many factors, not guaranteed. You can claim on every block. Uh, the community contribution is 10 strong per node. So that's like I said, so you have to have 10 strong to open up a node. And there's a fee for running this node is uh, 14.95 per month. You have to pay out uh for maintenance on this node and also here's what i was talking about so on the road max so upcoming up expansion of node as a service and bring your own node to support ethereum 2.0 bitcoin and other protocols and uh just a little background for um anybody that may not know so um bitcoin ethereum they're both they're both run on the blockchain a blockchain is just a a decentralized a shared spreadsheet that is maintained by computers and all these computers are connected together so we call them a network of computers a network of computers that manage and hold all the data hold all the information for these blockchains and without these computers managing the blockchain um you know these systems this network cannot run blockchain ethereum cannot run so essentially if you add more nodes which are these computers that are managing the blockchain managing the data verifying and um, approving these transactions, you know, you're making the system stronger. So strong block is essentially making the Ethereum 1.0 blockchain as of right now stronger by uh, maintaining more nodes and allowing more people, they're, they're allowing the barrier to entry for people like you and me to support the infrastructure of the blockchain, like it says right here. And it's, uh, it's agnostic. So it's a blockchain agnostic protocol. So that means um, it's not tied to just Ethereum 1.0, Ethereum 2.0, Bitcoin, uh, any other blockchain for that matter. It's, it's not tied to one or the other. It's uh, able to support the infrastructure of any blockchain it wants. And that's the beauty of it. We're in the very beginning. It's only supporting one blockchain right now. You can only imagine. So right now we have about 12,000 nodes, right? And this is only supporting one blockchain. So just picture like how many more as more blockchains get onboarded, obviously 2.0 in Bitcoin, how many nodes there would be. And that's only going to drive up more demand for the strong token. As a user, my goal is I want to make money, right? So I'm able to make passive income on this node, 0.2 strong a day. Um, but also this strong token is becoming more scarce as more time goes on. I mean, as the more more nodes get on boarded, that means more strong is getting locked up. And as more strong tokens are locked up to start and create these nodes, that means obviously there are less strong tokens available on the open market to purchase, which is scarcity at its finest. And um, as more scarcity, you know, is introduced to the market, more people buy more strong, more people start nodes. Um, as demand rises, supply is capped right so that means the price of each strong token is going to rise which makes it a lot harder to accumulate 10 nodes i mean 10 strong tokens to create one node like i said right now it costs less than a thousand if if strong token uh goes near its all-time high around 200 dollars, it's going to cost you two thousand dollars 
to create one note and um you know for the regular person you know two thousand dollars you know that's not just not pocket change money anymore you know what i'm saying it ain't even pocket change money right now it's still it's relatively doable for most people if they get you know they have some ex, you know obviously the stimulus fourteen hundred dollars right you could potentially create you know if you had a little bit more money two two nodes if you get your fourteen hundred dollar stimulus and you know throw it in strong block but here pretty soon a fourteen hundred dollars won't even get you one note if the strong token value is valued at two hundred dollars. So just keep that in mind that this opportunity window is gonna close to where it's, it's gonna be a lot harder to create a node. Whereas right now it may be a little bit more doable. Like I said, you can create, you know, if you add a little bit more money, you can add two nodes with just your stimulus check. So keep that in mind. You know, the, the time window is gonna close pretty soon. Just like, um, for instance, with RSR, you could have bought. With a thousand dollars, you could have bought a million RSR. Right now, a thousand dollars, you know, get you nowhere near that, I believe. So right now, a million, it might get you ten thousand, I believe, around ten thousand uh, RSR. So that's what I experienced with my RSR investment. So same things about to happen with Strong, in my humble opinion.